Bulls by a score of 93-87 here at Bud Castle Gymnasium. So a replay from last year's semifinal game here in the second round of the CIF Division Four Sac Joaquin section playoffs. West Campus only lost by six points last year, although they're coming into this game. They did lose a few players, those seniors who graduated, and so did Sonora. But West Campus wants to come back in this game and defeat Sonora in the second year. Starters for West Campus Warriors under head coach Mar Michael Lawrence, number zero, Malik Zero Martin, number one, Malik Ibarra, number 10, Shane Osby, and number 20, Andrew Ferreira Jones. And rounding out the top five for the West Campus Warriors tonight, their big player, number 24, Leo Wagner. Wagner scored 21 points along with four of three from the three-point line and five of six from the free throw line last year in that game that we talked about here in Sonora. Warriors come to the game record 15 and 12, 6 and 4. They play in the Greater Sacramento League, finished third place in that league this season. Now, for your starters for the Sonora Wildcats, under head coach Lloyd Longue, number two, Jonathan Maven. Also getting the start tonight, number 13, Darius O'Neill. Next starter up for the Cats, number 20, Austin Patterson. Patterson had 17 points on Wednesday night, helping the Wildcats beat Riverbank 63-45 here at Bud Castle Gymnasium. Spencer Capello also getting the start for the night and rounding out the starters for the Sonora Wildcats is number 34, senior 6'10", Devin Dye getting the start tonight. For the 25 and 3 Wildcats who come in 10 0 Mellow League play undefeated here at home this season at Bud Castle Gymnasium. Again, great crowd here tonight. Golden Regiment down in the corner. We'll be back with more after these messages on NorCal Sports TV. Finding athletic college scholarships can be an overwhelming task for athletes. It's essential to utilize experts and former college coaches who know the ins and outs of college recruiting. At Recruiting Boost, we help prospective student athletes navigate the recruiting process from start to finish, ultimately helping them earn scholarship opportunities. We don't rely on cold emails or large databases. Instead, we have direct contact with college coaches. Contact us today. We're back here getting ready for tip. Devin Dye going to tip it up for Sonora facing Leo Wagner. This broadcast brought to you in part by David Goldenberg, supervisor. Vote for change, vote for proven experience, vote for David. Wildcats white uniforms with the green numbers outlined in gold. West Campus red uniforms with black numbering outlined in white. 
expect a great game here. Again, second round of the playoffs. Tip off here live from Sonora, California. Cats come away with the opening tip. So West Campus had a little trouble getting here. They had a little bus issue. Got here about a half hour later than they expected to, but we'll see how that affects them as Capello opens the game with a three-point shot there like he does so often. Seems like he likes to get the game started early in the first quarter. As you saw earlier, the West Campus Warriors were looking for Austin Patterson. They wanted to defend him a lot more, although they left Capello open in pursuit to defend Patterson. Yeah, everybody knows who Austin Patterson is. Last Tuesday, or Wednesday night rather, I guess he only scored two points in the first half, but then came out and scored 15 in the second half. Helped lead the Cats to victory over Riverbank in a game that was here at Sonora. Patterson pulls up, a shot wide right, rebound comes off to Wagner for West Campus. 3-2 our score here early. Each team had possession once now. Turnover by West Campus. Maven going to bring it up nice and slow. Not in a hurry here. Wildcats give the ball over to Patterson. Leading the way for him. Maven fakes the three. Couple dribbles up with a shot now. 16 footer goes. A beautiful pump fake by Maven. So he was able to get around his defender and get the shot inside. Wagner quickly answers back for West Campus. One on two going right at Die. Got the points to go for Wagner. Maven, three point shot, doesn't go. Osby answers on the one corner of his own three. Given the West Campus Warriors their first lead of the night, seven to five. We're going to see a lot of three-point shots tonight as both offenses are really great and they just pull up every time from the outside. West Campus shoots 29% from the three-point line and we know Sonora loves to shoot the three. Capello with another one. Once again, that three-point ball, you can't leave anyone open on the outsides anymore. West Campus brings it back down, gives it to Wagner. Wagner pulls it up. Three point from the wing, doesn't go. Capello comes away with the rebound for Sonora. Cross court, Maven, three point shot, it's good. Cats on fire right now from the three point line. That's three made threes already for Sonora. O'Neill almost gets the steal. Martin able to control it for West Campus. Then we got a foul called on Die. Getting him with the body. Here's the replay. Patterson to Maven in the corner. Three-point shot. Beautifully made. Nothing but net. Wagner tried to come out and defend, but Maven was able to go up and over him. Hit the three, giving the Cats a four-point lead. Now Martin. Working around, Wagner, three-point shot from 20 feet away, drains it, gives a fist pump on the way by, and he cuts the lead to one. So Wagner already has got five for West Campus. He comes in the game at averaging 20.9 points per game. Patterson, pull up three, put it on the board. His first three points of the night. Back and forth we go. This could be a high-scoring game. As we said, these two played last year, and it was 93-87. Three-point shot on the way by Ferreira Jones. He's got five now. 14-13, and we've only played four minutes here in the first quarter. Both teams come out shooting the ball well. And that was a highly contested shot. Spencer Campello came out from the inside. Just a beautifully made shot overall. Patterson pull up three. Back iron doesn't go. Martin comes away with it for West Campus. Three on one. Walk from behind by Milborn and out of bounds. The last touch by Martin. As you see the backdoor cut, pass over to the outside and Capello not able to get there in time. Shot up and over and good for the Warriors. Nice replay there, the last trip down for West Campus. 
on the other end. Patterson drives baseline, lays it up and in, going to the line. Patterson was 13 of 15 last year in the game against West Campus. He's going to the line early here. And as you see from the wing, split his defender in the baseline and got inside for two. Great camera work there by our crew, giving us all different angles and replays tonight. Free throw up and good. Gives Cats a 14 or four point lead, 17 13. Warriors quickly back up though. Osby, corner three, doesn't go. Rebound by Ferreira Jones, and he puts it back in. Cutting the Wildcat lead the two. Maven quickly back at it. Throws it up at the hoop, doesn't go. Out. Martin, over to Wagner. Thought about the three, behind the back. Drives, one on four. That's got to be a travel, it is. Much to the student section delight. Travel called on Leo Wagner. Turns the ball back over to Sonora Wildcats. Patterson behind the Mil Milborn screen. Hits it. What a beautiful play by Austin Patterson. Faked his opponent out. Got around the outside of his own man and nailed the three-pointer. Patterson, nine points already for the Wildcats here in the first quarter. Jump ball called. Zero going to stay with West Hills. There's the replay of Patterson's three-point shot. He had Milbourne to make the move around and nail it. 23 on the shot clock for the Warriors as they work it around the outside. For Eric Jones, three-point shot. Front iron back and goes in. He's got 10. So, so far, the big guns, high-scoring average guys are showing up in the first quarter for both teams. Pella over to O'Neal. O'Neal guarded by Ferrer Jones, and he gets fouled by Jones. Here's the replay from the opposite side of the court. Deep three-point range. Just enough power for the ball to go up and in. Ferrer Jones has 10 points. He only averages 13.7 per game on the season, so huge start for him tonight. Campello will take a rest for Sonora as Hansen comes in the first time in the game. Check it in for the Warriors' Kyle Lamb, also for the first time replacing Ibarra. Entry pass taken away by Lamb. West Campus controls it. Wagner drives and he's fouled. Going to the hoop, he's going to shoot two free throws. Foul going to be called on Gabe Milborn. His first, team's second. See a little out of control play here. Malik gets the ball, Martin rather, gets the ball up to Wagner. Wagner, 82% free throw shooter, misses the first, however. Second free throw, good. He's been to the line 133 times this season already. He's 108 of 133 for 82%. Cuts the lead down to one. Hansen, control the dribble, over to Milbourne. Now Milbourne spins, baseline, has the ball go off his hands. It's gonna stay with the Cats as it was tipped out of bounds by Shane Osby for the Warriors. Hansen had great court vision there as he was being double teamed. He knew that one man had to be open and he found Milborn in the wing. Back to Maben. Three point shot, doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Martin and Warriors are on the run. Ferrero Jones drives, lays it up, doesn't go, but he's going to the free throw line. I think the foul's gonna be called on Hansen. It is his first. As you see the replay quickly down the court, Guarded by two, Hansen, a little arm shove as he was driving inside. A little hesitation dribble there, gets him to the free throw line. First free throw up and good by Jones. He is also an 82% free throw shooter. Now 52 of 63 on the season. Second free throw up and good. He's got 12 of the 21 Warriors points. But more importantly, the Warriors have a one point lead. Defense, 
Fabin working off the screen, goes away from it. Gives the ball down low. 15 on the shot clock here is Milborn. Drives baseline, has the ball tipped away, and it goes off of his hands. Nice defense there by Shane Osby. Just enough pressure to force Milborn to lose control. Just over a minute left to go here in the first quarter of play as Patterson steals the ball away from Farrah Jones, lays it up and in. He's got 11. Martin over to Wagner. Three-point shot on the way and good. Wagner, a 34% three-point shooter, already has his second of the night. Patterson sends answers, tries to, but it goes short. Rebound comes off to Ferrero Jones. About a four, six-second differential on the shot clock and game clock. Game clock at 26, shot clock at 20. Warriors working around. Now try to cut Ferrero Jones. Back iron doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Patterson. Shot clock off. Last second. Last shot opportunity of the quarter for the Cats that they so choose. Milborn going to give a screen to Patterson. Patterson, hesitation, now spins away from double team. Lays it up and in. Beautiful move there by Patterson. Desperation shot doesn't go. Wouldn't have counted if it did. Brings us to the end of the first quarter. This broadcast is brought to you in part by David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. David Goldenberg is a proven fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert in fire preparedness. David concludes his Cal Fire career as a statewide deputy chief of command and control where he managed large, complex budgets. Vote for change. Vote for proven experience. Vote for David. StoreQuest Express self-storage. Load up your gear and live big with help from our new neighbors. StoreQuest Express self-storage featuring 24-7 access and around-the-clock availability for customer support. StoreQuest Express is here to help make your room for awesome. Get your first month's rent for only a dollar. Visit storequest.com or call 209-284-6703 to reserve a unit today. All tied up here at the end of the first quarter, 24-24. Exciting quarter for both teams. But if you're West Campus, I think you're happy so far with how things have gone. Both teams hit five three-pointers apiece in the first quarter. Cats come out with it here to start. The f- Entry pass knocked away. Now Callahan Hansen goes and gets it for the Cats. 15 on the shot clock. Patterson resets for Sonora. Die comes. Brush screen. Three-point shot from the corner by Hansen. Goes his first three points of the night. Back in the game, Malik Ibarra for West Campus. Wagner, three-point shot from the corner. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off Hanson. Stay here. Going to be a reset of the shot clock, and ball stays with West Campus. So interesting, Leo Wagner so far for West Campus as you see this three-point shot by Callahan Hanson a moment ago. He's been the, the offense so far for the Warriors as you see Martin get the rebound and basket off of the missed shot by Wagner. They've been bringing him out and making Die or Milborn, whoever's guarding him, play from the outside. This time, Die's shot blocked. Martin lays it up and in for the Warriors. Patterson brings the ball up court for Sonora. 6.30 left to go here in the second quarter. Die has it now. Drives down. Wagner shot block, or blocks his shot. Die stays with it though. And Die picks it up two. But as the ball was taken away, the defender stepped up bounds, gives it back to Sonora. Gabe Milborn in replacing the throw line. Foul's going to be called 
on Osby, his first. Replay, O'Neal inside. There's the hit bump there. He got up in the air, able to create the contact. Go to the line for two. Nice job by O'Neal being aggressive. Going to, the, going to the hoop, picking up the foul. Just two possessions ago, he blocked two straight shots. Second free throw up front iron, doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Ferreira Jones. Cats have a two-point lead now, 30-28. Ibarra runs things now here for the Warriors. Working around the outside. Back to Ibarra in the corner. Guard by Mabin. Shakes. Gets it out to Lamb. Back around the other side. Ferreira. Baseline shot. Comes off to O'Neal. Just under six to go here in the first half. Cats up by two. Hanson drives, cut off, picks up his dribble. Now gets it back over to Maven. Ten on the shot clock as O'Neal drives. His cut off again. Kicks it back out to Hanson. Now seven. Four. Three. O'Neal has to put it up. Baseline shot. Back iron rebound. Milbourne gets the Cats another chance, but then Lamb steals it away from him. Now Patterson steals it all alone. He's going to dunk it in for two. That's going to bring a timeout by Coach Mitchell Lawrence for the West Campus Warriors. Going to call a 20 there after that play. Gives us a chance to remind you. Just load up your gear and live big with the help from our new Express Self Storage feature 24-7 access. And around the clock, custom. Awesome. Get your first month's rent for only a dollar. Visit SonoraQuest.com or call 209-284-6703 to reserve a unit today. So Cats up by four here. West Campus called the time out there to kind of regroup. Patterson has 15 here unofficially in the first half. Leading all scores. Osby. Guard by Milbourne. Back over to Lamb. Now Ibarra drives around Maven. Doesn't get to go, but he's going to the free throw line. That's Maven's first. Team's fourth. Ibarra, 63% free throw shooter on the season, 48 of 76 coming in the game. Hits the first. Wagner's time on the bench there was short. About a minute of real time. He comes back in replacing Ferreira Jones as Ibarra hits the second free throw, cutting the lead down to two. Milbourne looking for Patterson. Guarded nicely. Now he comes around the screen. Drives baseline. Spins away. And Wagner intercepts the pass. Lamb on the run for West Campus. Pulls it out. Slows things down. Malik Martin now with it. Drives baseline. Tries to go across court. And Hallahan Hansen standing right there. Takes it away for the Cats. He leads the break. Out to Capello. Corner three. Shot. No good. Rebound comes off. Volleyball around goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Wildcats. So just over 3.30 left to go here in the first half. Warriors have a chance to tire, take the lead here on this possession. Wagner lays it up and in. Nice assist there by Ibarra. Now Leo Wagner's got 11. So far, Wagner and Ferrer Jones leading scorers for the Warriors. 11 and 10 officially. 
Patterson answers back, says, I can score two. He puts three more on the board. Giving the Cats back a three-point lead. Now, little defense by the Cats. Ibarra steps out of bounds. Gives the ball back to the Wildcats as he falls out of bounds. Maybe with a little help from Mil Mabin, maybe not. As you see on the replay, a moment ago, pa Patterson hitting the three, giving the Cats back a lead. Ferreira Jones back in the game for the Warriors. He has 12. He's the leading scorer for West Campus so far here in the first half. Over to Capello, three-point shot, high arcing back iron, doesn't go. Rebound comes off to the Warriors and Ibarra. Ferrero Jones, front iron, doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Milburn. Maven tries to pass to Milburn, but he didn't see it. Luckily, Hansen was there to collect it. His shot doesn't go. Milburn, though, follows. Milborn picks up his first two points of the evening and gives the Cows a five-point lead. Ferrera Jones, pull-up shot, back iron, doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Patterson for the Cats, and they have a chance to extend now as we go under two. Hansen. Drives, layup, no one there. I'm going to put it on the board. Nice job there by the sophomore Hanson being aggressive. Martin, shot, doesn't go. Wagner, rebound, goes, and he's going to the free throw line. Thirteen points unofficially for Wagner, and he's one of two from the free throw line. First free, our set free throw is up and good for Wagner. That's three point play, and it cuts the Sonora lead down to four. Maven works it around, guarded by Martin. Now gives it down the low to Die. Die spins around, lay up shot, or let's go. And the shot's blocked by West Campus. And Ferrer Jones comes away with it for the Wolf Warriors. Spin, Wagner, doesn't get it to go off. Foul, a traveling call, rather, by Wagner. As he spun and I was right there. Contact creates the turnover. With just over a minute left to go here in the first half. Maben brings it up slowly for the Cats. Offensive foul called away from the basket. On Callahan Hansen, his second, team's sixth. The Warriors bring it up now with Ibarra. Ibarra had a slow first half here. He averages 9.3. He's only got two. Ferrer Jones shot blocked by the Cats. Now Hansen comes away. Flies down court, offensive foul called on Hanson. Good job by the Ibarra there to speed set. And then we have a technical foul called on the Sonora Wildcat bench. This break in the action gives us a chance to remind you this broadcast is brought to you by David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. David Goldenberg is proven fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert in fire preparedness. David concluded his Cal Fire career with statewide deputy chief of command and control where he managed large complex budgets. First free throw up and good for Ferrer Jones. Second free throw up and good as well. So a two point lead, 39-37 our score. And now West Campus has the ball with a chance so again, Tyre take the lead here with 30.8 left to go in the first. Hey. 
little confusion there of where they were going to take the end ball in this. And then backcourt called as they inbound the pass on one side of the half court line, and he stepped over on the other. So Ibarra gives it right back to the Cats. Shot clock off. Last shot opportunity if the Cats so choose again. O'Neal working around, picks up his dribble, gives it over to Maven. Now back over to Patterson. Patterson looks up at the clock. Sees it reads 16 now. Expect him to go with about eight. Kicks it over to hand or for the three-point shot from the corner. Doesn't go. Rebound by Maven. Doesn't go as well. Die comes away with it and he puts it back as the horn expires, giving the cats a 41. 37 halftime lead as we see the replay there of Maven shot not going but die getting the rebound and putting it back for the Cats this broadcast of Wildcat Basketball is brought to you in part by David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor vote change vote for proven experience vote for David Sonora Conference Center four unique rooms in downtown Sonora go to sonoraconferencecenter.com for details StoreQuest Express self storage get your first month's rent for only a dollar NCS TV Summer Basketball Camp. A five day overnight camp for fourth through twelfth graders registered now with $99 deposit and $100 off camp enrollment. Go to NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp for all the details. Benton Roberson CPAs. Benton Roberson CPAs is a full service CPA providing personalized tax accounting and financial guidance to individuals and businesses throughout Tuolumne and Stanislaus counties. Our team believes in partnering with you and your team to build lasting relationships to help you achieve your financial goals. Give us a call today and experience the Benton Roberson difference. We look forward to hearing from you. Straight Sports. For custom uniforms, go to straightsports.com for all the details. Sport Stars Mag. Go to our website for Prep sports coverage, including basketball rankings that are updated every week. Sam Stringer Photography. Go to Sam Stringer Photography 360.com. Check out all his photos from events around the Melo. Again, our, our score here at the half Sonora 41, West Campus 37. We'll be back with more of this on NorCal Sports TV. spot people who participated in high school sports and activities. Right on time. They learned important lessons like leadership, teamwork, respect. Hey, our meeting moved to 10. We'll be ready. Values that last a lifetime. We need to focus on three factors. Support high school sports and activities in your community. When kids take part, they get set for life. Just a reminder, kids who participate in high school activities tend to go a little farther than those who don't. Take part. Get set for life.
The NFHS Learning Center is the leader in online education for the interscholastic community. At NFHSLearn.com, you can find over 60 courses for coaches, administrators, of students from abuse. For more information, visit the NFHS Learning Center. I go like this. <laughs> the best part about playing football in Texas has to be the reaction from the community. I want to encourage others to play volleyball or choir because you get to experience new things and do stuff that you've never done before. My reason why is passion. My reason why is pride. Surprise, Guy Dossie texting me at the half, keeping us updated. Action going around, also around the Division Four playoffs. That last foul was called on Devin Dye. So a two-point lead here for the Warrior or the Sonora, as the Warriors have the ball, trying to tie it up or take the lead. Wagner finds Ferrer Jones, and again, Dye cannot kick up with him, but his shot goes off the mark. Rebound comes off to Sonora. Patterson. Tries to wrap around, pass, goes off a leg, out of bounds. Stays here with Nora. A few things both teams can do in order to come out on top in this game. For West Campus, they need to follow their shots. You'll see a lot of the time they'll pull up from around the arc, and then all the players will just go back court and let Sonora get the rebound. But that's not exactly what you need to do. You need to get in there and try to get the ball back and get an easy second chance opportunity. For Sonora, you need to pump fake a little bit more. You're getting each player up on their feet in the air on every shot. So if you just pump fake once, you could get around, create some space, and pull up again from there. Speaking of pulling up, Osby pulls up for three. He's got six now. A moment ago, Capello hit the three for Sonora. And giving him nine points on the evening. Capello, three-point shot again on the way. Doesn't go this time. Wagner comes away with it for the Warriors. Ibarra pull up shot short. Lots of contact, no foul called on to either, there, and he gets it up for Sonora. Patterson pull up, it comes up short. Here's Ferreira feeding. Osby, Osby spins, shot, doesn't go, rebound, comes back to Osby, and it's a jump ball, possession arrow, going to go back to the Cats. Devin Dye is coming out as Gabe Milborn will take his place. Both big men for the Sonora Wildcats have two fouls apiece. Cats working around the outside, feed him. Milborn down low now, back out to Patterson. Patterson works the way under Capello. His three is wide left. Rebound comes off the die. Die shot, partially deflected and comes away to Wagner. Forever Johns over in the corner to Osby. His shot, back iron, doesn't go. Right now, nothing going for either team. It's been about three possessions in a row. We've seen just shots come off the front iron or back iron. Maven, front iron, rebound, doesn't go by Milborn, three, three foot shot, Patterson says, let me try and break the spell, doesn't get it to go, Milborn with the rebound again for Sonora, now Jones takes it away, and he's, West Campus, a little out of control, steps out of bounds on the baseline, gives it back to Sonora, so, little, little, A little wild basketball being played, trying to trying to find the right words here. As both teams giving the ball back and forth to each other. Both teams playing very aggressively as Sonora is the number one seed and West Campus is number nine. If West Campus can take down Sonora, they can surely take down anybody else in this conference. Capello, three-point shot. This time it goes. He's got six in the second half, 12 in the game. And maybe that'll be the... The spark that we need to get the offense back on track here. Somebody put the ball through the basket. Wagner tries to feed his partner. 
Doesn't go. Goes out of bounds. Last touch by the Cats. Stay right here. 24 on the shot clock. Here's the replay. Patterson over to Maven. Maven to Campello in the corner. Another beautiful three-point shot from the wing by the Kites. Rebound comes off to Wagner. Wagner puts it back in. He's got 18. Tyson went the awesome Patterson for the lead here tonight for a leading scorer. Milburn. Milborn hands it to Patterson. Patterson reverse layup. Doesn't go. Patterson gets the rebound, though. Never touched the sh- well, iron, so no reshow of the shot clock. We got it down to 12 now. Capello. Nine on the shot clock. Patterson gets it back. Five. Four. Going to have to put a ball up. Gets it over to Milburn. He doesn't get it to go. And then a foul called on Sonora. On Capello. As Malik Ibarra came away with the rebound and he had it knocked out of his hand by Capello. That was an unnecessary foul by Spencer Capello. West Campus already had the ball. They were driving down the court. Truly unnecessary in the long run. Three-point lead here. As we go under three minutes left to go here in the third quarter. Wagner. Drives baseline. Reverse layup doesn't or goes, but he's called for a travel instead. So wipe it off the board. Give the ball back to Sonora. Slow scoring ha- or quarter here for Sonora as they've only scored 10 here with two and a half left to go. Fifteen on the shot clock. Patterson drives, lays it up and in. Patterson now has 20 on the evening. Martin over to Wagner. Back over to Osby. Wildcats playing aggressive defense. All up in the defender. Ferreira Johns. Spin move. Shot doesn't go. Knocked out of bounds by Patterson. Will be 17 on the shot clock here as the Warriors inbound on the baseline. Wagner gets it, lays it up and in. He's got 20 now, and him and Patterson are dueling for the scoring honors on the evening. It's a great job by Wagner as he jumped up, nearly blocked by Milborn, although he hung onto the ball and got it up once again for the easy two point bucket. Patterson comes back, puts two more on the board. Now, ball on the floor, tie up. It's going to go stay with West Campus. See the replay, Patterson, top of the arc, driving right side off the glass. Beautiful play by Austin Patterson. Wildcats call timeout there, Lord Longeway. 30-second timeout called by the Cats. Gives a chance to remind you, this broadcast is brought to you by California Gold Development Corporation. Also, David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. David Goldenberg is a proven fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert in fire preparedness. David concluded his Cal Fire career as statewide Deputy Chief of Command and Control, where he managed large, complex budgets. Vote for change, vote for proven experience, vote for David. One twenty-three left to go here in the third quarter. Cats up by five. As we take a moment to try and clean up a little moisture on the court, JV coach Jeremy Peterson down there taking care of that for the Cats tonight. Gives a chance to remind you, StoreQuest Express self storage for your first month's rents only a dollar. For more information, give them a call or go to their website, check them out. Going in the old bowling alley in downtown Sonora. Ferreira Johns shot, front iron rebound comes off to the Cats. Quick shot there by West 
campus. As we go under a minute now on this possession. Patterson tries to dunk, doesn't go, but he's fouled. Going to go to the free throw line for two. Here's the replay. Patterson guarded at the top of the arc, able to get around his defender inside, guarded by Wagner underneath the hoop, and he gets the contact. First free throw short for Patterson. He's one of two now on the afternoon from free throw line. Gets the second. Give him 23. Ibarra drives, has the ball slapped away. Jump ball called. Possession arrow going back to Sonora. Nice job. Actually, it's going to stay with West Campus. I think that uh, it should be Sonora's. But I don't think they changed the arrow last time. So it's going to go to West Campus. So maybe a little little beneficial here for West Campus. Get another chance to cut into the Sonora lead. Wagner guarded by M Mabin. Gets it over to Lamb. Now Osby shot back iron. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off the Cats and O'Neill has it. Shot clock off. Cats again with the last shot chance that they won it and then foul called on Ibarra so Ibarra picks up his first team second in the grand scheme of things not a horrible foul as 22.9 just resets things O'Neal and now Sonora call for an offensive foul away from the ball as looks like Milbourne was a little aggressive with the screen trying to set the screen rather getting Capello open. Turns the ball back over to West Campus. Now Ibarra brings it up for the Warriors. Ibarra hands off to Osby. Osby pull up shot, five on the clock. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to Milborn. Gets it over to Patterson. Five, half a second left, and there's nothing. No foul called. Into the third quarter. Brings us 52 46. Wildcats lead. This broadcast is brought to you part by David Goldenberger. For District 1 Supervisor, David Goldenberg is a proven. Fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert on fire preparedness. David concludes his Cal Fire career as a statewide deputy chief of command and control, where he manages large, complex budgets. Vote for change. Vote for proven experience. Vote for David. StoreQuest accepts self storage. Load up your gear and can live big with help from our new neighbors. StoreQuest Express self-storage featuring 24-7 access and around-the-clock customer support. StoreQuest Express is here to help you make room for awesome. Give, get your first must rent for only a dollar if you visit storequest.com or call 209-284-6703 to reserve a unit today. NCS TV Summer Camp. Go to NorCalSportsTV.com slash camp for all the details. Fourth quarter underway here, 52-46. Patterson, three-point shot, rolls around, gets it to go. His fourth made three of the, the game. Wagner tries to answer, back iron doesn't go, rebound comes off to Maven. Cats up by nine. Danger zone right now for West Campus. Fourth quarter has been Wildcat time all season as they've outscored the opponents in the fourth quarter. We got a timeout called by the Cats. 
This broadcast of Wildcat Basketball is brought to you in part by StoreQuest Express Self Storage. Load up your gear and live big with help from our new neighbors. StoreQuest Express Self Storage, featuring 24-7 access and around-the-clock customer service. StoreQuest Express is help, here to help you make room for awesome. Get your first month's rent for only a dollar. Visit StoreQuest.com or call 209-284-6703 to reserve a unit today. Benton Roberson CPA provides personalized tax and accounting financial guidance to individuals and businesses throughout Tuolumne and Stanislaus counties. Our team believes in partnering with you and your team to build lasting relationships to help you achieve your financial goals. Give them a call today and experience the Benton Roberson difference. We look forward to hearing from you. 7.26 left to go here in the fourth quarter. 55-46. Cats up by nine again. I said danger zone because Cats have outscored their points in the fourth quarter all along throughout the season. And we'll see if that trend continues here in the second round of the Division Four playoffs. Coach Landre called the timeout right before Maven lost control of the ball. Good use of a timeout. Guy with the basket there. Gives the Cows an 11-point lead. His first two points of the second half. Now Dye blocks the shot. O'Neal comes away with it for the Cats. Things starting to kind of snowball here for West Campus. As they have seven minutes left and they're down by 11. Cats working a little time. Capello gives it over to Patterson with 15 on the shot clock. Patterson pull up three, back iron, rebound, Maven. Littlest guy out there goes and gets the rebound. And then we got a... But he's called for a travel. Devin Dye inside. Nobody wants to mess with Dye down low. Called for a travel there. May have slipped as again... Jeremy Peterson goes out and wipes up the floor for the Cats. Give us a chance to remind you that David Golden Mem- Gold Member Supervisor, Cal Fire Safety District. Sonora Conference Center, four unique rooms in downtown Sonora. West Campus works it around. Wagner drives on die. Doesn't get to go. Rebound comes off to Patterson. Patterson may have gotten partially tipped the ball as it went up. Again, Katz working the clock here. Up by 11 in no hurry. O'Neal called for the travel. Turns the ball back over to West Campus. It was once again an unnecessary turnover for Sonora. They do have the 11 point lead, but that could be demolished in just a few seconds. Ibar dribbling it for West Campus. West Campus taking their time. I think they got to hurry up a little bit here. It's down by 11, six minutes left. Oh, nice job there by Ferreira Jones, but he doesn't get the shot to go. Then we got a foul away from. The shot on the rebound, and it's going to be on Callahan Hansen. So they'll give the West Campus another chance here to cut in a 11 point Cats lead. That was exactly what we talked about earlier. Pump fake the shot, get them up on their feet, and then drive inside. Ferreira Johns cross lane, doesn't get it to go. Rebound comes off to Patterson, and again, Sonora brings it up with no hurry. And other games in the Division Four playoffs, Calaveras up 41-30 at the end of the third quarter over in El Dorado. So they're up by 11, Cats up by 11. Looks like they could meet here on Tuesday night at Bud Castle Gymnasium as the Cats now up by 13. Great job by Spencer Capello driving inside off the screen for Milbourne. Floats it up from the high post. Now Patterson steals the entry pass. 
and all things going right right now for Sonora. If I was part of West Campus, I'd be playing full court pressure as Patterson just yeah. slowly walks past. Anything that's trying to speed things up, right? I mean, you got to turn. There's a turnover by Ibarra. Lays it up and in. So nice job there. Like you said, you got to get possessions right now. You're down by points, 11 points. You got to get more possessions if you're West Campus. I agree completely with you, Levi. And we got a timeout called by Coach Lloyd Longerway. 30 second timeout. We'll bring back we'll after these messages on NorCal Sports TV. David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. Vote for change, vote for proven experience, vote for David. We're back here. Cats inbound the ball after the timeout called by Coach Lloyd Longeway. 4.19 left to go here in the fourth quarter. Cats up by 11. Capello picks up his dribble. Gets it over to Milbourne in the corner. 15 on the shot clock. Now 10 on the shot clock. And Maven almost has the ball taken away from him. Capello in the corner, seven going away from the basket. Cats in trouble here, three, two, one, heaves it up. Back iron, rebound comes off to Wagner. It did not think any way that that was gonna be a shot that was gonna hit the iron, but it did by Capello. Lamb drives around O'Neal, he's going to the free throw line. So another thing we, that we didn't talk about way for West Campus to get back in the game is free throw shooting. They are a 68% free throw shooter on the season as a team. And here's the replay inside the paint. Good job by O'Neal by blocking the shot after the foul. You don't want to let that ball get up into the basket because then it's just an easy two points and the chance for one more. Although by blocking it, he has to earn those points. Lamb does just that as he hits both free throws, cutting down to a nine point game. 3.41 left to go, and now West Campus picks up a little half-court pressure. Maybe they're listening to the broadcast, Levi. Foul called there by Lamb. He got a little aggressive, which, again, with only three fouls in the half here, not a, not a horrible decision by Lamb. Now Maven brings the ball up for Sonora. Again, guarded by Lamb. Capello, three-point shot. Doesn't go. Wagner comes away with it. Ferreira Johns, three-point shot. Back iron. Doesn't go. Rebound comes off to O'Neal for the Cats. And then for Patterson says, give me the ball. I'm going to walk this thing up and take my time. For West Campus, you don't need those three-point shots right now. If you could get inside, get an easy layup, maybe a foul. That'll be the best decision for you. Only down by nine points with three minutes left. And Sonora's gone a little cool here on the offensive side. Lamb, nice job of corralling the ball and then the hit three-point basket by Ibarra. Cuts it down to a six-point lead. So just like that, West Campus, five straight points. Cuts the Sonora lead down to six. Maven, scoop shot up and good. Should have got contact. Going to the free throw line, but they didn't call it. And we're got a timeout call. David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. David Goldenberg is a proven fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert on fire preparedness. David concluded his Cal Fire career at the statewide deputy chief of command and control, where he managed large complex budgets. Vote for change, vote for proven experience, vote for David. Store Quest Express, self-service storage. Load up your gear and live big with the help of our new neighbors. StoreQuest Express self-service storage featuring 24-7 access hours and round-the-clock customer su support. StoreQuest Express is here to help you make room for awesome. Get your first month's rent for only $1. 
Visit storequest.com or call 209-284-6703 to reserve a unit today. The NCS TV Summer Basketball Camp. Five-day overnight camp for 4th through 12th graders. Register now with a $99 deposit and earn $100 off camp enrollment. Go to NorCalSportsTV.com forward slash camp for all the details. Eight-point lead here for the Cats. Two and a half left to go here in the fourth quarter. Martin drives, lays it up and in for West Campus. And like you said, that's what they should have been doing the last four minutes here. Cut and lead down to six. It was a beautiful move inside. He faked the pass out to the three-point line and drove right in. And now Sonora has been trying to work the clock, but sometimes when you do that, you kind of get out of your offense and makes it a little stagnant. And we'll see here what Lloyd Laundry decides to do. O'Neal back over to Patterson. Patterson drives baseline, tries to wrap around pass, call for the offensive foul. Going to give the ball back to the Warriors here. 155 left to go in a six-point game. You see on the replay, Patterson baseline tried to move around him and post it up inside the paint in order for Patterson to get the foul. Quick look at some other scores around the league. We've got around the playoffs, rather, Ventura Academy and Union Mine tied 35-35 all at the half. David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. Vote for change. Vote for proven experience. Vote for David. Coach Peterson getting the crowd fired up here for the Cats. We had the last two minutes of the game. Warriors down by six. Going to act quickly. Ivar, a three-point shot on the way. Nothing but net. Three-point game. 138 left to go here. Cats only minutes ago had a 12, 11-point lead with four minutes left. West Campus come roaring back here in the last couple minutes. Patterson. Pull up. 16-footer goes. Cats needed that to go. Lamb. Point on the shot clock as Ybarra's hit a couple three-point shots here in the last couple minutes. Now he drives, lays it up off the left last, gets it to go. He's got 10 all here in the fourth quarter, all in the last couple minutes. And he's cut the lead back down to three, which would go under a minute. Interesting decision here by West Campus, not to foul. They're trying to play it out. And now coach is screaming to foul, 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 but nobody's paying attention. And now we get under 12. High arcing shot, doesn't go. Rebound by Milborn. It doesn't go. Rebound comes off the Federal Jones with 22 left. We got a timeout called by West Campus. Head coach Michael Lawrence. Store Quest Express self service storage. Load up your gear and live big with the help of our new neighbors. Store Quest Express self service storage featuring 24 7 access hours and round the clock customer support. Store Quest Express is here to help you make room for awesome. Get your first month's rent for only one holder. Visit storequest.com or call 209 284 6703 to reserve a unit today. David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. David Goldenberg is a proven fire manager with 35 years of Cal Fire experience. He is an expert on fire preparedness. David concluded his Cal Fire career as the statewide deputy chief of command and control where he managed large complex budgets. Vote for change. Vote for proven experience. Vote for David. California Gold. Development Corporation for 40 years. So we go 22 seconds left here, three-point game for West Campus. And right now, West Campus, if I'm Warriors coach, I'm saying, hey, let's just drive it down and, and hit a layup. We don't have to get a three-point shot. If one's available in the offense, and great. But you got plenty of time to lay it up. But if you're Sonora, no fouls. No matter if it's outside the arc or inside the arc, 
let them take the shot, but make sure that you're in on defense. You're close, but don't draw the contact. Barb gets the inbound pass. Look for West Campus to go quickly here. Wagner, three-point shot on the way. Back iron, no good. Rebound. Actually, we got a foul. Foul on the three-point shot. So that's going to get three free throws for Wagner. It was in the corner. I couldn't see it, but I wonder why everybody just kind of stood around and was not going after the rebound. And Wagner is going to the free throw line for the chance to tie the game. First one doesn't go. As you see on the replay, Wagner had the pass outside, cut back, Milborn. Called for the foul, and we'll be back after these messages on NorCal Sports TV. Back here live, 12.1 left to go here in the fourth quarter, three-point lead. And Leo Wagner going to the free throw line for two free throws. So interesting strategy here, Levi. Do you try and hit both naked at one point game? Just 12 seconds left. Or do you make the first, miss the second on purpose, try and get a tip back and hit the game-winning shot or game-tying shot if you're West Campus? With 12 seconds, I'd say mo excuse me, make both free throws. Although if I were Sonora, they are doing it. Devin Dye and Gabe Milbarn are both in. Just in case they do miss that second free throw, they'll be able to box out and get the rebound in order for West Campus to not have a chance. I'm with you. I like to hit both free throws. And he missed the second, so now the 81% free throw shooters missed his first two. Now he's intentionally missing it. Rebound comes off to Milbourne. He's fouled. So you go to the free throw line, have three free throws, and don't make any of them. And now you send, you don't even send them to the line because you've only fouled three or four times. So you got to foul three more times before you can even send them to the free throw line. This game is brought to you in part by California Gold Development Corporation, serving the county for 40 years. David Goldenberg for District 1 Supervisor. Vote for change, vote for proven experience, vote for David. StoreQuest Express self-service storage. Get your first month's rent for only one dollar. Little confusion there by the officials, but yeah, there's only been four fouls called on West Campus. So not a shooting free throws. We're gonna inbound the ball, so West Campus has to try and steal the ball here. If not, immediate foul by the Warriors. And that's what they do is they inbound the ball to die, but they still isn't going to the free throw line. That's only five. We got to do that two more times here before the Warriors can send the Cats to the free throw line. I think what Sonora is trying to do here is they're going to pass it to Devin Dye for those first two, and on this one, they're going to pass it to one of their good free throw shooters in order to confuse West Campus. That's exactly what they do, but they turn it over. Nope, Maven able to control it, and it's going to send Maven to the free throw line with 7.2 left to go. Here's the replay. O'Neal gets it into Maven, loses control, but good job picking it back up as Ibarra gets the foul. I thought Ibarra was going to steal it from him there and lay it up, but nevertheless, Maven going to the free throw line, shooting one on one. So if, if you miss it here, expect a quick timeout by the Warriors if they get the rebound. Not as high scoring as the last time these teams met as Sonora won 93 to 87, although just as close. First free throw up and good. That's the first one. That's the important one. And Hansen coming out. Maeve Milmore coming in for rebounding ability here. Cats have a four-point lead with 7.2 left to go. Second free throw goes as well. Ibarra quickly up court for West Campus. Pull up three. 
Back iron doesn't go. Rebound comes off the die. That's going to do it. Cats are going to survive in advance here. 65 60. Our final score will be back with more after these messages on NorCal Sports TV. Players with our player of the game, Austin Patterson. He had 29 points. Austin, in the final few minutes, what was going through your head? Man, we just had to get a stop. We we're, we're up by three. Coach said not to get a three. Luckily, we missed those free throws and just worked out for us. And most of your points came in the first half. What was your role in the second? Man, just facilitating the ball, holding the ball, make sure we weren't turning it over so they could so they could get a run going. And I'm just glad, glad we came up with the dub. Congratulations on the win. Good luck in the rest of your playoff bracket. Thank you very much. Thank you. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Levi. Again, our final score here. Soaring High 65, West Campus 60. Leading scorer, Austin Patterson at 28. Jonathan Maven kicked in nine for the Cats. Spencer Capello had 12, 14. On the other side, Leo Wagner case put in 20 for the Warriors. Andrew Ferreira Johns had 13 and Ibarra had 12. 10 of those in the fourth quarter alone but it wasn't enough here tonight for the Warriors to pull off the upset against the Sonora High Wildcats. Another action Calaveras up 50 to 45 with two minutes left to go in their game so things tightening up over there on the in the bracket the winner of the calaveras el dorado game will come here to sonora high to take on the wildcats at bud castle gymnasium on tuesday night at seven o'clock well levi that was an exciting game could have gone either way cats come away with a victory send the hometown crowd here and the golden regiment with home happy tonight for our crew i'm jeremy hurtado for dion i levi flores the rest of the crew. Good night. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time on NorCal Sports TV.